Hi everyone, today I will show you, how to fix Valorant this build of Vanguard requires secure boot. Before moving on to the video, you can support me by liking the video and deliver this video to people who are looking for this video like you, let's start. In order to solve the error, we need to enable TPM 2.0 and secure boot as stated in the error message. To activate these two features, we need to enter the computer's BIOS. The key to enter the BIOS menu may differ depending on the brand of our computer. To find out this key, we type the brand and model of the computer into Google and then write the BIOS key. As you can see, mine is F2 key. It may also be your F10, F12 or delete key. It's usually one of these four keys. After learning the BIOS key, we will turn off the computer and turn it on again. When turning it on again, we will press the BIOS button on the black screen and go to the BIOS menu. While on the black screen, we press the BIOS button. As you can see the BIOS menu is opened. This menu may be different for you. First we need to activate the TPM feature. For this, we come to the security part. Here the current TPM part is disabled and I can't reach it. To reach here, we need to put a password in the BIOS. I can't access it right now because I don't have a password. We come to set supervisor password and press enter. And we specify a simple password. For example, 1, 2, 3. We retype the same password and activate it. As you can see, we can reach that part. We go to the change TPM state and click enter. We make this enabled. TPM feature is activated. Now we will enable secure boot. Secure boot will either be in security or system configuration or boot. Mine is in the boot. We go to the boot part. Here we first select the boot mode, Windows UEFI. If there is no Windows UEFI, we select UEFI. Then we come to the secure boot part. We select enabled. To save the settings we have made, we come to the exit part. In this section, you can save and restart the computer by saying exit saving changes. Or you can save by clicking save and shut down. Both options will save the settings we made. I click save and shut down. And I click yes. We enabled TPM 2.0 and secure boot. You can check if it is active by typing MS info in the search. As you can see the secure boot state is on. The TPM feature can be activated easily, but secure boot can sometimes be complicated. That's why I'll put a site that shows how to activate secure boot for different motherboards in the description. This site shows how to enable and disable secure boot for different motherboards. If you have a different motherboard like ASUS or MSI, you can find how to activate it on this site. Now you can enter the game and play without any errors. We have come to the end of the video. I hope this video fixed your problem. If the video helped you, don't forget to like the video. You can also subscribe to my channel to support me. Take care, and see you in the next video.